I'm going to operate on inspiration today. I've been watching this CNN food series, Stanley Tucci, Searching for Italy. You've probably seen it. And I was so inspired by the one about Rome and pasta that I went into the kitchen and I just whipped up some spaghetti and clam sauce for myself without a recipe, just threw it together. And I was so enamored with the flavor of it that I immediately wrote down what I did so that I could do this video and share it with you. And I'm going to give you the ingredients in the description down below. And at the end, there'll be a link to the recipe on my website. So let's make spaghetti with clam sauce. I have some salted water coming to a boil on the stove. So I'm going to put in one portion of dry spaghetti. I'm making just enough for one for this video. Two ounces, about 60 grams is considered a single serving. Multiply this recipe to serve as many people as you need to. Cook the spaghetti according to package directions until al dente, 11 to 13 minutes. I'm going to use this small skillet to prepare my sauce. Over medium high heat, I'm melting about a tablespoon of butter. To the butter, I'm adding an equal amount of olive oil. I'm using pure or cooking olive oil, but you can use extra virgin because this pan isn't going to be heated to frying temperature. It's not going to burn. I reduce the flame to low. To the melted butter, I'm adding three or four small fresh sage leaves that I chopped. I'm also adding a sprig of fresh rosemary that I will leave whole. I'll deal with it later. Those herbs will flavor the butter, and some people insist on herbs, but that's their issue, not mine. Okay, I could add a clove of fresh garlic, crushed or minced, but I have this better than bouillon roast garlic base, and I like it. I think the flavor of garlic goes well with clams. Stir this to introduce all the participants to each other. Lightly season with freshly ground black pepper. A little goes a long way, unless you really love the flavor of pepper, in which case use your best judgment. I think pepper overpowers a dish sometimes. For this dish, I'm using canned baby clams. Okay, not as good as fresh, but more convenient and I already had them. No going to the store. I'm adding one ounce, about 30 grams. Again, give it a stir, cook about a minute, then remove from the heat. I put a quarter cup, 30 milliliters of half and half in a bowl. Half and half is sold in the stores here in the USA. It's half milk, half cream. We like it in our coffee. You can use heavy whipping cream, which would probably be better, but I wasn't going to go to the store. I am mixing one half teaspoon of sweet rice flour into the milk. Sweet rice flour isn't sweet. It's made from starchy rice, like arborio rice. You can use flour or cornstarch. Whisk, 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 then set aside until needed. When I cook pasta, I sometimes see that starch gathering on the top. You can spoon that off and add it to your sauce. It's like better than pasta water. You get that little bit of extra starch in your sauce. My spaghetti has two more minutes to cook, so I am starting the flame under my skillet again. Add the milk mixture with the sweet rice flour. Bring that to a boil, and it will start to thicken, thanks to the rice flour. This would be a good time to taste for salt, using my infamous red-handled tasting spoon. This is so close to perfect, I'll wait on the salt. The spaghetti is done, and the sauce is thick. Check this out. Look how that gently flows. If the sauce is too thick, thin with a little pasta water or some clam broth from the can. Put the spaghetti in the skillet and turn and stir everything to coat them all to pure satisfaction. Taste again for salt. None needed. Now would be a good time to remove that sprig of rosemary. It's done its job. If a few leaves stay in the sauce, that's okay. Think of it as an extra benefit. 
I'm using my granny fork to twirl the spaghetti for plating. There isn't enough to justify using my new carving fork. Be sure to scoop all the good bits from the pan and place on top. I wish I had a green salad to go with this, but that would require a trip to the store. I'm trying to stay home to avoid the pandemic. I'm dressing this with a few sprigs of fresh basil from my little herb garden. My herb garden is just a few pots outside. Drizzle a little olive oil on top to make it more perfect. Finally garnish with some freshly shredded imported Pecorino Romano cheese. So there it is. My spaghetti with clam sauce. Now for a little taste of heaven. <laughs> I've been so looking forward to tasting this again. I enjoyed it so much the first time. And I'm taking a little chance here. I don't like eating spaghetti without some sort of protection on my shirt. Because I usually get food on myself. Not always, not always. I'm exaggerating. Mmm. -hmm. But I am not exaggerating when I tell you how delicious this is. Oh, this is so good. And quick and easy to make. I mean, literally, you could assemble this dish in the time it takes to cook the pasta, which is what, 12, 13 minutes at the most, 10 to 11 minutes at the time to bring the water to a boil quick this is a quick and easy meal to make and it's delicious i would proudly proudly serve this to dinner guests mm. <laughs> that is so good all right excuse me it's too late for lunch too early for dinner but I'm going to go enjoy my spaghetti with clam sauce. <laughs>